you have to look into the hidden mysteries that he's revealing to you by studying the scripture and I'm showing you how God was still on earth raining down fire and brimstone from God in heaven in your Bible and my Bible. Emmanuel means God is with us. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's a sign to show that God is with the Jewish people in this city. And this boy was born to who? To either Isaiah. You don't know who. The, the scripture doesn't say who. It doesn't say who. It does say who. It's Mary. Yeah. Two thousand years of brainwashing doesn't help you. Yeah, especially when the Gospels, it starts with the Gospels, Matthew 1, 23, Isaiah 7, 14, which is a misquote, miscontext, mistranslation. From the Lord. That doesn't That's two people. Arabic. Two people, two lords. When I was in the same name, they speak dialect. They you. you have to say third person because it's got that cognitive dissonance. You can't understand how God would refer to himself in three persons. Here's, here's a similar He's revealing himself as a trinity right there. God came from Sinai, from Seir, and Pana. Right? He says at the time of, the, of Sinai. God came from Sinai, Seir, and Pana. That's three different directions. <laughs> sorry, Baba, I'm sorry, sorry. That's it's not so my man. Common, Continue what you're saying. Let's just think about Sifta for five seconds. That's all. Continue what you're saying. It's not uncommon at all. Yeah. It's not Can show me another show me another verse. <laughs> Uh, we're just discussing the Trinity in the Old Testament, how God revealed himself as a Trinity. We have a, a beloved Jew here who is getting cognitive dissonance because he can't understand how God can reveal himself in three persons in the Old Testament, in the Tanakh. But he is indeed. And he's stumped by it. Well, let's see how he goes. This isn't the first time I've heard it. Well, I'd like you to explain to me how he's revealed himself as a trinity in your Tanakh. It's not a trinity. You're, you're missing the whole point of the trinity. So yeah, exactly. show me, show me another scripture. God said, listen to Israel, yeah. I am your God. I am what? Yeah. I'm I, quite kind of... I, 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 I. He doesn't say he, he says I. So if, if God says, I am the Lord and the Lord, that means he's speaking about two people. God can speak about himself. Sorry? God can speak about himself in many different ways. God can speak is that, is that your own is that your own innovation? God can do listen, God can do anything. God could speak gibberish if he wanted to, but he doesn't. When he speaks about himself, he says I. He says I, doesn't he? Not always. Not always. Show me another scripture. Yeah, Apart this, from this that verse, in Genesis, I've twice, asked you, show me another one where he's speaking about himself as the third person, and that will be the Trinity also. Yeah, look at this one again. Yeah. Which one is that? The verse you quoted. It's got twice the same name of God. Hold on. Are we back on Genesis here, 1924? So God himself talks about himself twice in the same third verse. It's not as if it... so, get Can you speak up, sir? God you're, you're, speak... you're stumbling and rolling through things, skipping across sentences. God's name. Be clear in what you're speaking to the camera here. So I know, if but you're I'm, looking confident, to, I'm speaking to you. No, but there's a camera here. Do you mind this camera being here? Say, Stop trying to hide what you're saying and plead on my ignorance. You've got Hebrew Bible you're showing me. I'm just showing I don't you the speak word. Hebrew. I'm you the word. So read the, read the verse so everyone can hear. Okay. All right, but I'm sure. Listen, listen, listen to the word I pronounce. Vadoinoi him tir al sadoim that lamayra gofris va eish me eish adoinoi min hashemayim. Twice says the name of God, right? Sorry? Says the Twice. name of God. This is look at these letters. See, Twice see, the name of God. See the same same way of God, right? And God rained down from God. Like use the same name. According to you, it's two different names. So how can God rain out from other God? Because he's God. He can rain out from himself. So what what does happen? So when, how does God rain? rain out I don't know how God. Himself? I don't know how God operates. Yeah, God's kind of a bit esoteric and above my understanding. So God rained out. You are making a claim that you could understand what I what I think and what I believe because I was like as I was making a comment. So can't you just explain from this verse how God reigns from above? God reigns from God, meaning from yeah, how, how does it happen? <laughs> it just like, however God does anything. How does it happen? 
How does God rain down from himself? I don't That's know how God That's my question. Answers. So you claim to be Jewish and you should... Understanding God is beyond... Yeah. Genesis verse 1922. Sorry, continue. Because what, what I'm, what I'm going to show you here, if I can get to it, is where God, uh, God in human form is speaking to Abraham and he remains on earth. Oh, you're in 91? Well, I think it's 22. He remains on earth. The two angels go towards Sodom. Right? The two angels go towards Sodom and, and God remains where Abraham is on earth. And then that verse we're discussing comes after it. Because God is on earth. In a manifestation in human form. He's already eaten and drinking with Abraham and had his feet washed. And discussed with him how many people he's going to destroy in Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? One second, brother. So he, it says he's still on earth. And then that verse comes, it says, and then the Lord rained down from the Lord in heaven. So it's saying God was still on earth, raining down fire and brimstone from the Lord in heaven. That is the Trinity, my friend. Read your own scripture. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he was still on earth. If you understand it, can you just explain to us how you read that? And still God you do raised, not see the uh, uh, person who did not have it. God rained Baba. down from right. God. It doesn't say the Father rained down from the Son, the Son rained down from the Father, the Holy Spirit. It doesn't say that. Genesis well, say to you. So it's, 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 what you need God, to understand is how God is revealing himself as the Trinity. And as a through when you go to the New Testament, Jesus comes and speaks about the Father. Because now he's the Son manifested. Do you understand? God has revealed himself as he goes through Scripture. Right, until the fulfillment true. in Jesus God, Christ. Says, so in the early, in the Tanakh, you, you don't look for a full explanation. You have to see, you have to look into the hidden mysteries that he's revealing to you by studying the scripture. And I'm showing you how God was still on earth, raining down fire and brimstone from God in heaven, in your Bible and my Bible. Uh, it doesn't say that. It just says God rained down from God. It doesn't say God was on earth, brother. He's just spoken to Abraham. God's been more than one place. There's more than one Oh, name. here, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hallelujah. Now you're saying that God was on earth. And you just said it. You just said it. The Hadouken. Hadouken. <laughs> God, more than one place Again, God isn't constrained by time and space at all, right? So when God's on earth, it means he's just manifesting himself in some way on earth. Now we're being honest. So now we agree that God could be on earth. Manifesting no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, now we agree that God can be on earth and in heaven at the same time. It's not, okay, God's not constrained by Is that possible? True, he's not constrained by anything. So no laws of science and no physics. He can do whatever he wants. Correct. So he can be on earth and in heaven. Yeah. Right. But he's not, but he's and not he can actually also, on earth or in heaven at any time. This is just true. Right. He's manifesting himself. Oh, okay. Right, so that he can be on earth and speak. And the one in heaven can speak. That can happen also. It's not. Don't say, don't constrict God. Don't constrict him because you've already agreed that he can be on earth and in heaven. So he can therefore speak into heaven and speak into earth at the same time. Can he not? Of course he can. Don't you see that you have it there, brother? The unfolding. It doesn't mean, it doesn't well, mean he's more than one God here. No, but I just mean he can manage no, it. it, it what, it, what, it showing you, what it's showing you. If you have three God heads. No, but what, what he's showing you is unfolding himself, revealing himself to you. He's not giving you all in black and white. He's revealing himself to you and saying, look, this is who I am by what I'm doing. At this stage of the Tanakh scriptures, this is who I am. I am three persons in one God, Israel. But I'm showing you in this way. Because I came down to earth and I reigned heaven, I reigned fire and brimstone from God in heaven and I was God on earth doing it. Again, it doesn't say he's more than one that not possible? It doesn't say he's more than one God. I don't see why you see more than one God. I just want you to think about this. That's all I want you to do. This is why I want to speak to you. And I know it doesn't register. At this moment, it doesn't register. And this is why, God bless you guys, you, you missed the coming of the Messiah. You missed it. Listen to me. 
you missed it. And God loves you. Just yeah, like it. Listen, God loves Jesus you. Jesus is the guy who's going to bring world peace. I know you're going to take the mickey and all that kind of rest of it. That's fine. That's fine. Again, the Messiah is going to bring world peace. Uh, I don't see much peace around here. Yeah, um, the Messiah, we're going to bring the whole world back to God. It hasn't happened yet. He has. He's reconciled himself to the world through Jesus Christ. When we yet, heard about it today, listen, to yeah, yeah. when yeah, Jesus but... rode into Jerusalem on that donkey, they expected him to go in there with a sword and smite the Roman Empire. That's what the Jews are waiting for. Right. Wrong. Yeah. He came with power. He came with power. You know what he came to do? He came to open the eyes of the blind. He came to heal the sick and quicken the dead. Well, he didn't right? do a very well, good job. Hold on. He did not heal the sick and quicken the dead. Did he heal the sick and quicken the dead? I've got no idea. It wasn't there. I don't really rely on the It says in your own Talmud, that's what he did. It says he was sus he was a sorcerer. It's a blasphemous book. But it still says he worked the miracles. Right, so don't deny he worked the miracle. No, it doesn't say, it doesn't say Jesus. It's, pop, it's most likely not the same character referred to as the New Testament, seeing as the Yeshu referred to in the Talmud lived about 150 years ago, before before Yeshu, Jesus. And uh, the uh, G Yeshu in the Talmud was stoned and Jesus was crucified. They're probably two different characters altogether. Whoa, yeah. you just created your own Bible there. That's, that's you, quite clear. So let's, just establish, stone, let's, just insta let's establish one point at a time. Do you agree that Jesus worked miracles? I have no idea. You, oh, okay. So you're actually not sure whether it happened or not? Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. I've so, got no idea. So, I've got no problem with it. If so when we have, have, when we have, let's when, say he did. So when we have, when we have, when we have uh, Josephus and Tacitus and um, your Talmud and uh, atheists and Christian scholars, Saying that he did. The atheist saw the hold on, hold on, hold on. These are hostile. Yeah. These Christian are hostile. Are slightly biased. Yeah, Josephus. What about hostile, hostile scholars? You say? Atheist scholars. Roman scholars that thought that, that thought Jesus was was uh, yeah, some Romans, kind of a person Romans against were, the state. Romans were pagans and they, they believed admitted he did their miracles. And, and Romans oh, weren't impressed by miracles like Jews are impressed by miracles. The Romans were a pagan nation and many gods could have. You're dancing around. I'm saying to you about evidence. Yeah, you have all these. Got the evidence? Okay, Josephus was Jewish. Wrote about, was Hold Jewish. on, Josephus was Jewish. Yeah, it was Jewish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do the Jews believe that Jesus is God? No. Right. So therefore, Josephus doesn't yeah, believe that Jesus is God. Wait a minute. Josephus doesn't believe that, Je that Jesus is God. You say? Uh, uh, Josephus agrees he worked their miracles. Yeah, but yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, the, yeah, that's, that's the Christian yeah. edition yeah. of yeah. Josephus. Oh, so you don't believe that's in, that, that's in the, the, the writings of Josephus? What about the writers of Tacitus? I am not a Roman scholar. I'm not an expert in this, an expert Tacitus. But let me Sorry. accept Tacitus. Yeah. Let me accept the evidence. I, I'll, I'll believe if you want that he did miracles. It doesn't make any difference. Let me show you a verse. Deuteronomy 13. Deuteronomy 13. Open up. Dance around. All I'm trying to, all I'm trying to show you. Brother, listen to me. The reason why I'm saying that is because you're opening your scriptures. We can open our scriptures as well. But you agree on my scripture. To prove that Jesus claimed to be God, for example. No? Again, but I'm quoting Deuteronomy. You agree this is holy scripture. I don't... Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Great. All I'm so trying to listen. say to you, the yeah, Jews... Yeah, but unlike you, you don't believe that the New Testament is holy scripture. Correct. So you, you do. We can both... No. All I'm trying to say to you... We both agree that the New Testament is... That the Old Testament is true. Brother, listen to me. based on that. All I'm trying to say to you is that Jews missed it. They were looking for a physical manifestation of a king. And Jesus came in. A spiritual peace. manifestation of They're a king. For world peace. I don't that's what he world did, peace. and that's why the Jews missed it. He said, "If you don't believe who I am, look at the works I'm doing." Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he said, yeah, no and that's peace. why the Jews wanted to kill no him yeah. because he was making. They said he was making himself equal with God. That's right. They hated the works that he did. Yeah. The he they did could see it. They could do nothing world about world it. He I said to them, "Who here can accuse me of happens. sin?" Not one of them could accuse him. He was blameless. Yes. But he worked That's their the miracles, Testament. and they crucified him. They crucified him because they couldn't deal with the conviction in their heart. The because Testament. he came to expose sin. He came to reconcile man to himself. Says the New and he hated the hypocrites, the ones who would walk around the temple, putting the law on people and they couldn't keep it themselves. Says and these the were the Pharisees, the hypocrites the and the vipers that he spoke about, brother. Perhaps. And that's why they crucified him, because they hated the truth he was speaking. Perhaps. They didn't want to believe he was God, brother. And he duped you into the same thing, my friend. You missed Jesus. Yeah, he came yeah, yeah, yeah. to save sinners. Praise he came to Lord. save you, man.
Messiah was meant to come to bring world peace. I'm no, no. waiting for well, that day. Man, yeah, you're I don't missing, think Jesus gets missing. a Nobel Peace Prize for bringing us Christianity, which kills millions of people. Yeah, Jesus does not get a Nobel Peace Prize. Definitely not got my vote. You're missing us. Well, no, if you have to and get a Peace Prize, maybe you can get one. He laughed at that scripture. He brought it up and he laughed about it. Like, oh, he's got own Tanakh. He's got own Tanakh. He's got own Tanakh. He's got own Tanakh. He's and by his stripes we were healed. How was Israel striped? Jesus. Oh, by Jesus' followers all the time. Jesus was whipped. <laughs> Isaiah 53. Oh, what about I'm sorry, Psalm, the Christians never whipped. Jesus. What about Psalm 22? Psalm 22. Details the crucifixion 800 years before Again, crucifixion yeah. was invented. And the mistranslation in Psalm 22. What about the mistranslation? You know what about, what about, do you know what the, what about, you know what the what about Daniel there? chapter 9 you verse 27? Psalm 22, you jump with him. They're not just trying to have a conversation with the gentleman. You're quoting the King James Version. Proof that I'm giving you. He's not willing to accept it. That's what it is. That's the King James, but it's the Bible. It's the no, word it's of the not. living it's God. Translation. You missed your Messiah, as my brother said. You missed him. I, I, I missed him. If I missed him, he's not done a good job because there's no world peace. No, he has. He, has. he sent well, me he here. He, he, he sent him here. Yeah. Sent me no, no, here. No, no, sent him no. here to tell you. I said world peace, not missionaries no. driving me nuts. Okay, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Do you Where's agree? Can you agree? Listen to me, brother. Brother, brother, brother. Brother, listen to me. Do you agree? Can you agree that sometimes if we're looking for God to work in one way, He in fact is working in another way that we just don't see? That's true, but only if So we can expect Him to come in the physical, but He can come in the spiritual. Do you agree? No, no, God says, I'm going to bring world peace through my Messiah. Yeah, not having world peace probably means that Jesus. Do you understand? Do no. you understand what Jesus that means? Jesus doesn't get a world peace. Do you, you understand what that means? Here we go. God, Isaiah two. Isaiah two. God, Isaiah two. You like Isaiah? Here we go. This is Isaiah two. He's the Prince of Peace. Say, Prince of Peace. He's talking about peace in the heart. For everyone who believes, this doesn't that's sound what like he's peace talking about. Listen peace in the heart, bro. Listen. And he will judge between the nations and he will rebuke many nations. And they'll crush their swords into plowshares and their, um, and their spears into pruning hooks. No nation shall lift up a, uh, a sword against another nation and they'll no, learn no more oh, yeah, yeah. anymore. That doesn't sound like Jesus. Can I he was pretty that? good at Can killing people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus resulted in many dead Jews and not much peace at all. Unless you spell peace with a P I E C E. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. let, 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 let listen, listen. listen. Yeah. Jesus will return. <laughs> Zechariah. No, <he> will. <laughs> in the book of Zechariah, it says he will return to Jerusalem. Yeah, Jesus will bring peace. But in Isaiah 53, it say anywhere there's going to be a second let, 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 let in, in Isaiah 53, it said that, suffering that he was the yes, Jews. the suffering servant. The Jews. Well, Psalm 22. You know, we're just trying to. It, it's difficult you, when you, you when you have some sort of info, when you have information. Sorry, brother. When you hard. have a certain set of information, and it's, it's difficult to, 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 <laughs> to get into your head to register. I, I know right? And we're not trying to get on you. We're not trying to get on you. I, I we just want you to understand because you've been brainwashed. Are you going to let me finish? Let me And the missionary. Yeah, 2,000 years of brainwashing doesn't help you. Yeah, especially when the Gospels, it starts with the Gospels, Matthew 1, 23, Isaiah 7, 14, which is a misquote, miscontext, mistranslation. Which, who, who, is this? who is this? Who? Matthew 1, 23, Isaiah 7, 14, mistranslation. What, what, is what is that? Virgin birth, virgin birth. Nothing to do with virgin birth. Okay. Nothing to do with Now, what, how does it explain the virgin birth? In the mistranslation that you're talking yeah, about, yeah. it says virgin. It doesn't say virgin. What does it say in, in the Tanakh? Yo, okay. okay. And now, if we go to the interlinear and we look at the Hebrew, yeah. a young girl can mean no, can't. a girl. No, just can't. listen to me <laughs> this and let guy me knows finish. Hebrew. A young girl, <laughs> a young girl can mean unmarried, untouched, can it? No. A young girl can possibly be unmarried, but it doesn't Thank mean. You. It doesn't Thank you. That's enough. Thank you, that's enough. So it's not a mistranslation. It can mean unmarried and untouched, yeah, i.e. Yeah, yeah, a virgin. Yeah, but then why would, yeah, but then why not? And the context, not talking about the Messiah. Yeah, but then why would Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Hey, listen, you, you need to start being you're honest. You're the expert on Isaiah 714, right? Sorry? You know Isaiah 714. Can you put Isaiah 713? Isaiah 715? 714 Don't take out your pot. 713, let's say 730. 7:12. Whole chapter seven. Now you've done it. Isaiah 7:14 is, is behold the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't want to hear. Okay, that. so what's your point? Do you know the context? <laughs> chapter seven. Chapter seven. No, no, don't take it out. Do you Educate know the context? Educate us. Educate. Okay. Okay. Context is clearly talking. This is unambiguous in the context. Right. Israel, yeah. right. It's talking about Israel. <laughs> like you shouldn't. Oh, thanks for context. Is the siege on Jerusalem? 
Ahaz is under siege. Isaiah comes and tells him, do not worry. Right, God's going to lift this siege. Ask for a sign. And as I, 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 has a, I will not ask you something. I'll well, give you a sign anyway. Listen to the oh, sign. He's jumping all over the you place. Missed, you missed. Mumbling as and jumping. Prince and long jumps and triple jumps. Speak clearly so everyone can don't hear jump, you. Don't jump. So you can That's be held so accountable important. to your own words. That's very important. Ask from above. That's where Jesus yeah. Christ came. Let him speak very clearly. Important. Don't jump that Come way. on. Isaiah says, ask for a sign from above. Right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, he says, anyway. He gives you many examples. Right. A couple of examples. Ask for signs. Ahaz says, no thank you, I don't need a sign. Right? Isaiah says, I'll give you a sign anyway. The yeah. Lord himself will we'll give you a sign. That's what it says. Correct. Yes. The Lord will give you a sign. Right? Himself. The Lord himself right. will give you a sign. Right? And then what is that sign? This young girl, who he was referring that to. That could be a virgin that you've agreed. Say, that may possibly be a virgin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But from con son. Say, is pregnant. <laughs> will conceive and bear a Not son. will conceive, is pregnant. It's Present tense. Present tense. It's present tense. Now you have to show me that. Well, do you know Hebrew? No. Oh, don't play. Don't, don't play. Well, how do you want me to? What, how do you want me to show no, it? Don't play that without. Want me to show you the word? No. We, we can go to the. What we can do? We can go to the interlinear. Yeah. Okay, see see what that says. Well, yeah. yeah. Let's go to the interlinear. I'm not sure I can land interlinear, but see what this says. Right. Or we can ask Matthew, who speaks Hebrew. Matthew, what does it mean? Let's fact check. Okay, so we have. What's the time now? Let's get to So you've already agreed that God Himself is going to give Israel a sign. What? Not Israel, Ahaz. Sorry? Sorry? Ahaz. Sorry? Ahaz. What's Ahaz? The king of Israel. The king of Learn the context. You guys don't know the context. No, 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 Ahaz, yeah. But he's the representative of David, so. King David. <laughs> This word is it yes. present? So that means that, that there's going to be a, a virgin that's conceived and bore a son no, through Ahab or whoever he's talking about. A that's what you're saying, he's right? Say, he's saying to Ahaz, the young girl is pregnant. Doesn't say who this young girl who is. Who was that? Say he doesn't say who it was. Uh, Commentary. She? Who is it? Where's his boy? Say. So it was obvious in the context who he was speaking to. So it was either Isaiah's wife or Ahaz's wife. Who and where was this boy born? Where? Who? Who was that? You say he was. He was the wife of Isaiah, wife of Isaiah or, or Ahaz. He was the wife. He was the wife. So you have nowhere to go, even the words are getting mixed up, because it's clear that it doesn't explain who that was, because that person was Jesus, and it's a prophecy about him. Context doesn't make any sense. The context, he's talking to Ahaz, and he says that by the time this child's old enough to know between good and bad, the siege will be lifted. That's what he says in the context. Okay. Yeah, that was long yeah. before Jesus was born. Right, now this is what the interlinear says. And this is the translation. It says, shall become pregnant. Yeah, that doesn't say is pregnant. Yeah, and yeah. Is the interlinear Christian Hold on. translation? It shall become, which is future tense. I know that. but is the present it, tense. Know, is so it, it's prophetic. That's is it not? Do you agree it's prophetic? It's prophetic, but it's Thank not you. Thank you. So it's not present tense like you no, said. it is present tense. Oh, it's just a mistranslation in your present. He used for the interlinear though. Yeah, I know, it's a no, Christian translation. And uh, Learn yeah, Hebrew. English, you're English? you're oh, at the mercy English. of a yeah. translation. And shall oh, become, yeah. and shall be called, and shall be called Emmanuel. That is future. You can't do anything more. And brother, listen, you can see, You've got you a mistranslation, it's not my fault. What? No, ask him, he, he, he reads Hebrew. This is guy reads Hebrew. Let, let me ask this guy. Let me ask this guy. This guy is not, honest, eh? he's not Jewish. He won't be honest. He's not Jewish no, and he reads Hebrew. Let's give him a chance. Yeah. Therefore, he, therefore, I don't, therefore the Lord, he will give to you a son. Behold the woman pregnant and, and beget a son and you will call his name Emmanuel. Is it, is it present Manuel, tense? Manuel, what does it mean? The last bit is future. Karos okay. and you will yeah, call his name. Thank you. Present tense. Thank God with us. She will you, beget. It's prophetic. No. He, he, no. he is he pregnant. Also don't forget the Jurassic <laughs> was changed yeah. about a yeah. thousand okay. years okay. after Christ. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, the, 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 the end is future. The end is future. No, you have a man here, your own brethren is saying. Your own brethren. So is she preg is she pregnant now or in the future? Pregnant now, but is it, pregnant at the end. That's what he says. At the end, she will be. At the end, at the end, she, she will give birth. Yeah, she will give. She, she is will pregnant. Call his name Emmanuel. She is pregnant. She so, will give okay. birth and will call now, it. Now, now I disagree with what you're saying. Yeah. I know. And the reason, oh, no, hold on, that, that's, that's a given. That's a given. Wait, that's disagree. a given. So therefore, explain to me. Wait, wait, wait. So therefore, explain to me. Who is this Emmanuel? That Emmanuel is, is the son of this woman, right? Who's the sign, right? The sign, Emmanuel means God is with us, right? Mm -hmm. And it's the sign to show that God is with 
the Jewish people in this city. And this boy was born to who? To either Isaiah. You don't know who. We don't know. The, the scripture doesn't say who. Doesn't say who. It does say who. It's Mary. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say it Mary. It is either. Mary, it and it's Jesus who was born to her, right. and that was the prophecy you're reading there. Well, let, let's, scripture let me, tells let you who it's talking about. He doesn't leave something open so you scratch your head forever. It yeah, tells you who it was. You don't know. You don't know every single. Tells person. you who it was. You don't know who every and single person it, in, in, in Scripture is. But what what he'll what he'll do? The Lord will not give you a conundrum and won't it's solve not it. A conundrum. Carry on. Won't solve it for you. Carry He's it. telling you he. He will give you a sign. Yeah, what's the sign? Right? He won't leave that sign unopened. Oh, well, let's let's get the sign. He will tell you who that sign is coming through and what it was for. Right, and the sign it carries and it's on. Let's Mary. carry on then. Gabriel came to Mary and said, "How is Jesus coming to save his people the from their it's sins?" It's talking about a siege here. Sorry? Context, context, siege. We're under siege. Isaiah tells Ahaz, "Yeah, don't worry. This." This is, boy is going to do friend. what? Hold on, this boy is going to do what? Yeah. What is the boy going to do? This, boy. this is a Messiah. Yeah, but what, yeah, but what, what is the boy going to do? Right, hold on. Yeah, yeah but what's the boy going to do? Carry on. Carry on. No, no. Verse 15. Wait, brother. Verse what's 15. the boy going to do? Verse 15. By the time this boy is old enough mm. to know between good and bad, the siege will be lifted. Hold on, you made verse a mistake. Verse 15. You made a mistake. Yeah, now, Where? if you that got... was Jesus, 600 years later, a mighty long siege. Yeah, and I don't think that was much of an encouraging you, you missed. You made a mistake. The you, salvation you of mankind thinking. for the blood of Jesus. Just... That's over. Contact. Now the siege is Contact. over. Contact. That's what you missed, brother. 600 years later, is not no, no, Hold on, hold on. You made a mistake. You said he's a has. This is the Messiah waiting for. Of course. <laughs> he, said, he, he said to Ahaz, he's not said it to Ahaz, he said house of David. So he was talking in the whole kings of house of David. That's a good Teacher point. and past. He was point. not saying, oh Ahaz, this is what will happen. He said, listen house of David. House of so David. house of David, what does house of David You agree he said that? The so house of David. Chapter 13 says house of David. And who does it say, who does it say house of David that Jesus is the root and offspring of who? Well, according, to the, the root of according to the Gospels, yeah, if, if we can rely on the Gospels, which I doubt, he's not. It's David. <laughs> so, I know, but Come the Gospels on, contradict each other. Mark, Matthew and Mark have Come a different on, genealogy on. of Jesus. Come that on, doesn't sound on. like a reliable testimony no, to me. I know, I know it, listen, I know it's difficult to process right now, right? But, listen, I want to shake your hand. Look, no, no, honestly, I appreciate the, the time. Conversation, yeah. I Wait, appreciate where's this, the time where's this going to be? I want to see Soko, Soko Films. Soko, how do you spell Soko? It's like Loco, but with an S at the beginning. With an S. Loco, S-O-C-O? Films, where's it going now? I appreciate out? the time that you've taken. Where am I getting my face? Great. I'm, I'm I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult yeah. um, <laughs> to <laughs> speak about these things when you're talking about your own faith. But what I just urge you, so when something is, is um, <laughs> difficult, so you, wait, wait, when something is difficult to process, that means there's some truth in it somewhere. Something is upsetting your spirit. And you have to look at that closely and just be 100% sure of what you're saying. Because this gentleman had some good points about the house of David. I've also brought some good points. You also agreed that God can separate himself and be on earth. He manifest himself in Yes, and be in heaven at the same time, which contradicts your belief. I believe God is what? Do you believe that God can be two persons? No, God is one, yeah, of course. Do you believe that God can be two persons? No. Huh? No. No, he said no. God is one because God can right, manifest himself in more than one place. Right, but can he be two persons? No. no. Right, can he be a man on earth? No. And a, you, you agreed with that earlier. No. And now you're going back on your statement. I never said he could be a man on earth. I never said he could be a man on earth. Do you think God is well, on I don't know how when you turned up, but it's on camera. Yeah? Wait a minute. Let me let me read out. No, no, it's okay, let's finish the conversation. Can you give it a go back? Have a nice one. I'm going back anyway. Nice having it out with you. No, thanks, uh, no, uh, thanks uh, Matthew. You've got a rap line. Uh well for some reason, well you know, we're just talking to Jews. Um, because I believe they've missed the salvation of Jesus Christ with the prophecies of Isaiah, Isaiah 714 specifically, talking about the coming Messiah and that the Lord himself will give you a sign. And uh Several Jews have agreed, or specifically just this one Jew has agreed that God can be on earth and be in heaven at the same time. So therefore you have God reveal himself as a trinity in the Tanakh. Um, when, uh, when he spoke to Abraham and rained down fire and brimstone from heaven from the Lord on earth. And you also have the prophecies in Isaiah 7.14, which talks about the coming of the Messiah. And Jews have missed it. And my heart goes out to them because they thought that Jesus came uh, to take over the kingdom physically and he came to reconcile man to himself spiritually. 
and this is where we're trying to reach them so that they can come home and be reconciled to Jesus Christ through his blood and his death and resurrection. Amen.